everyone, Vasif here, and welcome to a Wednesday stream. I'm super looking forward to this. We are going to be playing the new KFC dating simulator. Yes, it is officially made by KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken came out with a dating sim, and I've seen nothing on it aside from what is on Steam with the, with the trailer, and it looks ridiculous, and uh, I have to play it. It's free on Steam. Go check it out. Uh, I hope it lives up to the ridiculousness that it is. Um, so I'm going to go get that whole started up right here real quick. Also, heads up, I'm probably going to be way more fidgety than normal. I mean, which that that's a tall order already. But like I got this new lumbar support thing, you know, for the back of my back, <laughs> back of my back. That would be the your stomach, whatever for my back, right? For my lower back. Uh, for work and I used it today and my whole back hold up apparently there's a thing oh my god there's a corgi and you guys can't see it there it goes look a corgi oh my god I'm so excited already <laughs> this is ridiculous what <laughs> he's riding an assault shaker who's the corgi Anyways, what I was saying, um, but my whole back and chest and neck, everything hurts. It's so painful. And I don't know if it's because I'm like actually sitting in a posture I should be <laughs> and my body's not used to it, but everything is hurt so bad. Um, there's two Colonel Sanders's, but let's get into this. I don't know anything about this game. See, I don't even have, oh. Before you get started, tell us your name. I am Big Papa. That's my name. I'm Big Papa. I decided that's going to be my name for dating sims. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Those, um, I can't think of their names. Biscuits at KFC. That's me. Honestly, the main reason to go at KFC, you get a bunch of honey on those. It's just our Actually, their extra crispy chicken is pretty good. They seriously need to come up with a way to, like, just get the skins. That may sound disgusting. But if they could, like, even if it's not real skin, but it tastes the same, just, um, just deep fried skin. So good. I have a poster of a chicken. Is this my room? Why is there hearts outside my room? That's creepy. You sleep softly as this moment... As as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. You have necklace, pearl necklace, what is this? Okay, so I got a chicken poster. I have hearts outside my window, that freaks me out. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in this moment forever. Okay, that was loud. Or you could wake up. Now, 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 your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Smack the clock up and out of throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever. Yep, that sounds like me. You sleep through the school year and gave up on your once in a lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Game over already. Oh, that's funny. I just said that. Game over already. You might not be cut out for this. I give up. Is that actually just gonna take me to the main screen? Okay. Maybe it'll show. Okay. You'll see the beginning of the intro sequence again that you guys missed. It's good to know that there's actually. It can end. Like you make wrong decisions. Alright, that's what you guys saw. Nope, I just punched the mic. See, this is why I need my new stream setup. So I don't bump mics. Alright. That was funny. Uh, continue. I am big. Oops. Big Papa. Oh, I forgot my drink upstairs. Dang it. Seriously, though. Someone had to spend time drawing those and... 
It's looking yummy. Yep, we did that already. We did that. Just an annoying alarm. Smack it up and at him. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time to begin. Or time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. You only take this seriously. You allow yourself to change your bit. Yeah, I like that. It's here finally. Your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare. So many students to meet. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit and burst out in the door in a hurry. Hop, hop, hop. That's perfect. Mmm, delicious. Just what you needed to wake up those taste buds. Yikes! You're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Otto. That's not good. Standing in the quad. In the quad? Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnific magnificent university of cooking school, academy for learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam! Oh, I thought that was a Miriam. -y. <laughs> Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Yeah, probably will. Good morning, Big Papa! Are you excited for the first day of our rest of our lives? Actually, actually, I'm. Because I'm sure am. Excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What the? It's just that uh, uh, this morning I made breakfast myself, but well, when I ate it, I, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Mir Miriam, raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies, you're playing together and. Whoa. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, <laughs> it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. <laughs> what with the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three-day only semesters? I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. Three-day only semesters? <coughs> A sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Ouch. Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Mm, pep talk. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? Mm, the lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. Oh crap. I know, or I know she looked spooky, but she was so sweet, and she told you that you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy-looking tower, and the other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. And I'm sure you will soon, in no time. We'll be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. As you talk to me, as you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe you think it will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. Can you believe I cut them myself? Couldn't guess it. Uh, you can definitely believe it. <laughs> I, 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 I can't, can't believe it. Before you get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Rude! Hey! It's Ashley. Wow. Ashley. Or is it Ashley? Who puts an E after their A? It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be fulfilled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. You leave Big Papa's shins alone. They're all perfectly normal shins. <laughs> Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley. Ah! <laughs> But she had to add extra, add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. Okay. Uh, I brought that up. That's funny. 
Hello. If anyone here knows Hello. what perfect shins look like, it's us. Hey, Sarah, how's it going? Welcome to uh, the official KFC dating simulator. I'm excited. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. You're taking a nap? Ooh. Good nap times. <laughs> You're not watching uh, your shows then without him, are you? <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> Van Van. Oh my goodness, look at that guy's eyes. Look, his hair is in a star. You rang, rang. You've never been sure of what their arrangement is, but as long as you, you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have just have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. Look at this guy's flair, man. He's rocking it. Look at that belt. That belt is as big as his face. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. You know, I know, right? You'd think they just hand us over our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us as a professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just... Oh, wait. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not enough time to properly tell these two off. So, you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Psh, uh, uh, see you later, losers. Whoa, God, that was terrifying. As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking little kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Don't do that noise with the creepy kid. Did he just fart? And is his name Pop? It's too confusing. It's too close to my name. <laughs> oh, see? I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh... I should do the trick. I love you. I think you mean thank you? My name's Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. That sounds like Miriam's voice. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob. But I guess he's reading it upside down. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Funny. Hi, Pop. I'm Big Papa. So, are you going to make me hold this door all day? No! And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Aww. Is it just me? Or is he kind of cute? Alright. I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. Look at this picture here. Can you guys see that picture? Yes, you can. That picture looks very familiar. Oh, a dog! It's a corgi. A scoping looking pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of the class. Adorable. His name is Sprinkles. Quiet now. I need a different voice. Uh. Crap! Uh. All my voices have been taken already. All the high pitched ones. All the goofy high pitched ones, anyways. Crap! Uh. Should, we should give him a, an English accent. In that. What kind of weird classroom is that? <laughs> it has a world map, but a weird drawing and a lot of math on the board. Right? And well, I think the dog is our teacher, so that's really the weird thing. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. All right, he's apparently Southern now. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? You didn't question him talking? Oh, wait, that was me. Who is this cute pup, and he's, why is he in our culinary class? Now, Miriam. You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of the U.S. UCS AL 
Oh, there you do this. Uh, I forgot his voice already. You can call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I'm still demand respect. Woof. What? A cute dog is our professor. This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. For some reason, narrator me is uh, has a different voice than normal me. Look at the flower petals. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I chilly. Someone close the window. And then... He walks in. Look at that! Damn! He rocking it. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Mm -hmm. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. Hi, Jada. It's him. It's... It's one of my favorite students, Harland. Is that his real name? Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor. Oh, uh, sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. Please call me Colonel. I need to give him a different voice. He looks awesome. He doesn't look like creepy Colonel Sandler the way he looks now. Everyone, anyone else wanting some Kentucky Fried Chicken right now? <laughs> right? I want to get some. Get up, boy. Get up, boy. All right, we have to give him a better voice. A uh, voice? Wow. Please, call me Colonel. That's a horrible voice, too. Please, call me Colonel. There you go. Colonel Sanders. A hushed moment rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Everyone's all hot on him. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone's looking at you. And you're not entirely wrong. <sighs> and this over here must be sweater sweats a lot. Maybe we should open the window back up before a faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Hold on a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two, you two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten like class. And what is with all of you really weird insults? Hey. Uh, hippo. Besides, when Big Papa sweats, it's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at this shimmer. That's right. Bes oh, you turn to find Colonel Sanders standing right in front of you. There's no option here. Okay. Oh, crap. I'm going to stink because I didn't wear deodorant. Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. Crap. Boy, howdy. This classroom gets hotter with than a Kentucky fryer. Please use my handkerchief. What a gentle man. <laughs> you freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. Wait. Colonel Sanders is talking to you about how sweaty you look. You're completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? How will you respond? I'm going to take the handkerchief. You stretch out your hand and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. Can you stop? Stop. It's so beautiful you hesitate to press it to your face. But when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has his natural scent on it. It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. That's... I would not want to wipe my face with something that smelled like chicken. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and get some ground rules. Welcome to university. A cooking school academy for learning the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends, past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. 